Getting and choosing signals is super easy, but it might be hard for you because you don't have these two things dialed in. What's going on, guys? Kayvon Rashad will help you, man, get fit physically, spiritually, and emotionally. There's two things you can do to increase your choosing signals whenever you step outside. But let me just stress this. I'm not a dating coach. I'm not a relationship coach. I'm just a self-improvement coach. I want to see men get fit physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And dating is all a part of that. All right. I'm just going to share things that I've learned for myself, trial and error, and just things I've learned in books and courses that I've been, been in. All right. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys comment and subscribe on the channel. And of course, if you're trying to get your personalized workouts, the macro is done for you, trying to go and join a community with other men, trying to get fit physically, spiritually, emotionally, tap into the Shit to Fit University community on school. Link will be in the description and comment section. Let's get into the video. Like I said, choosing signals is super easy, but if you don't have these two things dialed in, it may be hard for you. And those two things are the product and positioning. See, I studied sports management in college. I graduated with a sports management degree. And part of being in sports management, we learn about business and we learn about marketing. And think about it. Everything in life we do is sales. It's marketing, right? Whether it's for business, whether it's for marketing ourselves for a job or for women. In this video, we're talking about women, right? So how to get children singular? There's two things you need to focus on. The product and the positioning. Let's get into product. Product. What is the product? You are the product. You are the product, right? And there's two parts of the product. There's the packaging of the product, and there's inside the product. Think about it. When you're going to the grocery store, most companies, they spend millions of dollars on advertisement, but they also spend lots of money on packaging, right? How it's, how it's marketed, how it looks on the outside, right? Think about it. Think about every fast food restaurant, Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's. What do those four company restaurants have in common? Yes, you guessed it. They all have red in it. And red sends a signal to your brain that you're hungry. Like it, there's something in the color red that signals that you need to get some something to eat. And every most fast food companies have red, red color inside their logo or on their, you know, their sign. They have red in it, right? So again, you gotta focus on the packaging of the product and the inside of the product, right? What is the packaging of the product? Right, since you, we're the talking about you, you're the product. The packaging of the product is your appearance. See, people think this superficial shit is dead. Listen, at first, the superficial shit matters at first. I'm just gonna be honest, right? The shit that you wear, the way that you look, that shit matters at first, right? That's how people can only judge you. They can only judge you off the superficial shit at first. So we gotta focus on the superficial shit. What is the superficial shit? Your body. Get your fucking body in shape, bro. This is why I have the community. For helping you get your macros right, helping you get your workouts right. Because again, you get your body right, you're going to feel better about yourself. And because you feel better about yourself, you're going to radiate that energy. Because again, when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you play good. And when you play good, you pay good. All right? So again, you got to focus on the packaging. Let's focus on the packaging. What kind of clothes are you wearing? Are you presentable every time you go outside? Do you smell nice? That's a big, that's a key component. Do you smell nice? Listen, what makes you think women don't think of us as physical attractions too? Women are physically attracted to men just like men are physically attracted to women. It's no different, right? They're just a little more discreet with it, right? And they care about other things other than just the physical. But at first, the physical attraction is very important. So again, getting your hair cut every week, smelling good, putting that shit on. You ain't got to dress. You ain't got to wear designer clothes. You ain't got to wear designer clothes. Next up, nigga, I'll wear some old navy pant jeans. I wear a shirt, a white H and M, slim fit shirt, and some J's. Killing the game. Nice haircut. I'm smelling good. Listen, the best compliment you can get from a woman is, bro, you smell good. Bro. I love getting that compliment. This is why I spent, bro. I literally just spent five hundred dollars, five hundred forty-five dollars on a cologne that I've been wanting. Shit was six hundred dollars, and I got an extra bottle for free because I'm a, I'm a loyal customer. Spend that money, bro. Invest. That's why I say you got to invest in yourself, my kings. You got to treat yourself like a king before you get king treated from anyone else. You got to treat yourself like a king first before anyone else can treat you like a king. You got to respect and love yourself first before anybody else can respect and love you. So again, you got to focus on the packaging of the product. Your packaging is everything, bro. How you dress yourself up. 
your posture, your body, you smell good. That shit is important. Because again, looks get you in the door. And now we're going to talk about the inside of the product. All right, guys, inside the product. What is inside the product? What's inside of you? So the intangibles, your character, you know what I'm saying? Are you funny? Are you cool to talk to? Are you cool to be around? That shit matters, bro. All that shit matters, bro. This is why you got to be outside. You got to live your life. At my course, How to Get Women to Shoot Their Shot, I teach you guys how to live your life. Like, really go outside and live your life. Enjoy, have, go out with your friends. I'm not saying go to the club, but just do new things. Go to a pool with your friends. Go to the beach. You know, take a one-day trip somewhere. Like, just do different things, bro. Be, be spontaneous sometimes. Do things that you enjoy. So that way, when you do get these women to come with you, you have shit you, you can talk about. Because if you ain't doing shit, you just sitting in the house playing video games. That's boring. That's mundane. And again, that's what you like. Cool. Just be prepared to understand that most women ain't going to be with that. Fuck with that. Especially if that's all you do. Unless you find a woman that is on the same shit. But other than that, let's be real. You got to go outside and live your life. Enjoy life. Enjoy things in life. Go to new restaurants by yourself. This is why I say you got to be able to do things by yourself. Be able to do it alone. Nigga, I'm quick to go outside by myself. Go to a nice restaurant. I put on some fly shit. Last week, I literally just went to the Capitol Grill on some spontaneous shit. I put on a nice polo shirt, khaki shorts. The, the video with the how to get women to shoot a shot, how women shoot a shot, that's the night I went to the Capitol Grill. Just doing my own thing, chilling. You got to be able to do things on your own. But again, guys, live your life. So that way you have experiences, you have things to talk about, right? Learning, continue to educate yourself, bro. Get you some knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, bro. Listen to audiobooks. These things matter. I know this is, we ain't even talking about the women right now. This is about you. Everything in life is really about you, bro. Everything in life is about you. The shit right now is about you. It's not about them. The women getting them to shoot the shot, that's a byproduct. But again, the first thing we're going to talk about is the product, which is you. You are the product. You are the product. Make sure you're becoming the best product. Because again, we're always selling something. We're always marketing something. All right? So the first thing first, we're gonna we talked about the product, the packaging, make sure you dress nice, you smell good, have a nice haircut, and you just look presentable. And the second thing, just getting the personality, like really doing different things, going outside, enjoying your life, doing things about yourself, learning, educating yourself, right? First things first, we knocked out was the product. Now let's go to position. I want to give a shout out to Uncle Ron Wills, man. One thing he says on his channel is finding your tribe. What do you mean by finding your tribe? What kind of women do you like? What kind of women like you, right? Understand, you got to be aware. This is why I say you got to constantly be tapped in and be conscious of things going on in your life. Conscious of who who you attract, what you're attracting. So that way, okay, this is, one, this is the type of woman I'm attracting. What kind of energy, what kind of vibe I'm giving off that I'm attracting this type of vibe to me? Because again, we attract who we are. So if we're attracted fives, subconsciously, we're fives. We think of ourselves as fives, so that's what we're going to keep attracting. So again, this is why I say you got to really be conscious. Journal. You got to be in your journal, my bros. You got to be journaling. Journaling. Journal, journal, journal. Write down everything. Right? Observe. Just really be observant of your life. What's going on? So that way you can make changes. When you don't like what's going on, make the fucking change. But again, Uncle Ron says, find your tribe. Where are the type? Where are you going? This is why I say positioning is next. Positioning is very important because again, if you're someone that attracts more black women, why are you going to places where it's only white women? <laughs> See, I just think about certain places. Think about it. Why would I put a, let's say, a vegan restaurant in the inner city? Yeah, it can do well, but let's be real. Most of our people, most most people in the inner city, they they fuck, they fuck with like a lot of fast food shit, right? Why do you think there's a lot of, a lot of McDonald's, a lot of Taco Bells, a lot of fast food places in the inner city? And why it's not that much in nicer areas. It's more like steakhouses, more nicer places. Target audience. You got to know your target audience, your target market. This is why I say positioning is everything. I'm running leads for my Facebook, my, my online, my high tech online coaching program. I'm targeting men. So when my, my people, my ads managers, they, they run ads, they're targeting men. And you could make it to where you position to where only men see your things, right? The interest, men's, men's interest, men's fitness. All of that is tar targeted to men because I have an online coaching program for men. I'm not going to target a shit to fit university program for women because that's not my target audience. So again, positioning. Where are you going? 
where are you going? You got to position yourself. You got to put yourself in position to be chosen. You got to campaign. You got to put yourself in position to be chosen. It's fairly easy, guys. Once you once you start dressing up, once you start to do the inner work, you start to get your product on point, you got to put yourself in position. Where are you going? I like going to coffee shops. I like going to smoothie shops. I like going to the beach. I like walking. I like walking. These are, things, these are places I go. I like going to the gym. See, you trying to go to the club and get women. And again, you can get them, but it's like, are you going to get the woman that you want? Are you going to get your woman? No, probably not. Probably not, right? So again, positioning. Positioning is very important. You got to make sure you're positioning your, yourself in the right places, in places you like and enjoy. You feel me? In places where your, your target market, your target audience, your tribe is. Because you just if you, you can have this great product, you can have this great ass product, but if you're putting the product in an environment where no one wants the product, the shit doesn't matter. That's why I say, bro, you're always something. You're always marketing. So again, the product is important and the positioning of the product is just as important. Because see, we can, we can build ourselves these great people, great men, but we're putting ourselves in positions and places where we're not really wanted, we're not celebrated. It's a waste of fucking time, right? You might come up with something. Keyword might. But again, putting, your, putting yourself in places where you know your tribe is, your, your target audience is, is going to be key. All right? This is a quick video, bro. This is, I think this is the best video on choosing signals, bro. I ain't got all the edits and shit and all the, the stories or whatever, but I'm just getting straight to the point. It's all about product and positioning. That's all it comes down to. You build, you the product, you building yourself up to become the best man you can be. And then you position that shit in the best place where your target audience is. That's it. It's marketing. That's it, bro. All right. Hope you guys like this video, man. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to like my shit. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and of course, holler back at your boy for more content like this. Deuces.